Okay, now we want to look at normal distributions that aren't standard. In other words, either the mean isn't zero or the standard devi deviation isn't one. Or So here's how we convert from another normal distribution back to a standard distribution. This is the same formula that we had previously for z-scores. And we're always going to round z-scores to two decimal places. So here's our picture. If we have a non-standard normal distribution, notice we still have that same bell curve, but in this case, in the middle of our curve is our mean and our x value. So we're going to convert using that formula. Notice we have the picture that looks the same, only now in the middle for our mean we have 0. And instead of an x over here we have a z. Here's an example. If we assume that men's weights are normally distributed, with a mean of 172 pounds and a standard deviation of 29 pounds, then if one man is randomly selected, what is the probability he weighs less than 174 pounds? Well, this is a normal distribution, but it's non-standard because the mean is 172 and the standard deviation is 29. So if we want to use a table or Excel in that standard normal distribution function, we have to convert this x value of 174 to a z-score. So we use our formula. Notice that our x value always goes first here. So we're taking x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And we get 0 0.07. So when we draw our picture, we can draw it either way. We can either draw it as our original distribution with our mean in the middle, or we can draw it as our standard normal distribution with a mean of 0 in the middle. These two correspond to each other. Our x value is 174. That corresponds to a z-score of 0 0.07. And since our picture in this case would be going from our value of 174 pounds to the left, since we want to know the probability that a man weighs less than 174 pounds, we can just look up 0 0.07 in our table or use our Excel function and find our area is 0.5279. So that means that the probability that the man weighs less than 174 pounds is 0.5279, or if we want to put it as a percentage, it would be 52.79%. Remember the difference between z-scores and areas. Z-scores are along the number line, basically on the horizontal axis. Areas are the regions under the curve, so when you're shading things in in that picture, those are your areas or your probabilities. Always make sure to pick the correct side of the graph, so if it's on the right or the left. And if your z-score is in the left half of, of your normal distribution picture, then it's going to have to be negative. And your areas or your probabilities are always going to be either positive or they can possibly be zero, but they can never be negative. What we want to do is, again, look up our probability in the body of our table find the z-score that goes with that, and then we need to convert back from our z-score back to x. And here's a helpful little formula for this. This is just another form of our z-score formula, but you can use it to go from z back to x. And again, if, if your z was to the left of, on the left side of the graph, make sure that it's a negative number. Okay, so let's go back to the men's weights and Let's figure out what weight separates the lightest 99.5% of men from the heaviest 0.5%. So here's our picture. Again, we have our mean of 172. Here's our area to the left is 0 0.9950. We're just converting this percentage to a decimal form. And we want to find what this x value is right here. In order to find the z value, we'd look up 0 0.9950 in the body of our table or use our Excel inverse function and we can find that z equals 2.575. Now we need to go back from our z-score back to our x to get our weight. So we're going to use that little formula, put in the z-score that we found, and our mean and our standard deviation, and we end up with 247 pounds if we round it to the nearest pound. The weight of 247 pounds separates the lightest 99.5% of men from the heaviest 0.5%.